Hello, everyone. Uh, it is great to be back to give you an update. Uh, my name is Jonathan Strom, and I have Johan Vesterdal with me as well. Hi, Johan. Hi, Jonathan. Great to be here and great to be on the call with you all today. Uh, so this call today is uh, actually Africa specific and uh, the reason for that is that we want to give you some business updates but also some uh, great type of uh, updates. Um, so I think the first thing, uh, I hope everything is moving in the right direction in the world uh, around the coronavirus. Uh, I, I have been in contact with plenty of the African countries, uh, which is such a privilege uh, to be able to talk to you guys. And it's it's nice to hear that uh, the world is opening up again. Uh, we have uh, some great news to share to you today. Um, we are going to have our big product launch on the 4th of July. So this is going to be a very, very interesting, very important and a really, really fantastic day. Uh, on the 4th of July, which is I think less in two weeks, we are going to present some products that will uh, make your life more interesting. And I think uh, definitely something that will be make it you know easier for you to go out and talk to the crowd and definitely something that, that will uh, add a lot of benefits for, for you as well. Uh, this is as well of we're going to celebrate together with you. Uh, it is uh, on the 4th of July that we're having an event. So, uh, but more regarding that will be later on. Uh, second thing, which I think is also something great, is that uh, we have now received uh, some very positive news about the uh, issues around the fear of loss has been solved. If it's only me or everyone is not hearing anything, uh, I know that uh, Jonathan and the team uh, in Stockholm is working hard to resolve the connection. So let's wait and see what's happening. I know they're working hard in Stockholm to resolve this problem. But the thing Jonas was getting into was uh, that the problem with fear of loss that we have had should have been resolved and that um, the, the there will be an automatically done update to uh, fix uh, fix the fear of loss for all the people who has not received the fear of loss as they should have done during this last weeks. So uh, when we have a full scale update, we will give you that from that case. But we have also changed the, the, um, uh, the fear of loss calculation a bit, but just to the better. Um, 
Yeah, we had some slides prepared, but we we can't. I can't show them right now, but I can try to tell you anyway. We we have changed the calculation to make it easier. Great, here it come the uh, the picture, uh, and the the thing is that the fear of loss calculation has been very very heavy for the computers. So we have made it easier. And it resolved in that you will earn, the newcomers who gets the fear of loss will earn a bit more on the titanium, on the gold and on the black package, but they will get the same amount on the, on the white package if they do four of them. So uh, it's just to the better. And I will tell you how it works, the new calculation system, because we need to handle all the free upgrades. So can I get the next picture, please? See, they're here in Stockholm right now. Good. Um, if there's a combination of packages or amount paid, you will always get to the lowest of the four best paid packages. So if you have fully paid packages and you have four packages, free titanium and one white, you will get the value for white. If you have, but this is, the calculation is important because we need to fix, so you, you could get paid in all the different versions that is uh, upcoming when we do the uh, upgrade for free, the epic promotion campaigns. So we have some examples for this as well. So let me get the next slide, please. So the standard version, that we have had all the time is that if you do a combination of packages, you will always get paid for the lesser or the lowest, the uh, smallest package. So in this case, it is four black and four white. Backwards, please. Here, thanks. Uh, four, two black and two white. That means that you will get paid for, for four white packages. That means that it has been four times 99 euro. It's 396 euros. 396 times 31.5% because that is the part that goes to the, to the fear of loss is 125 euros. So that is the way how to calculate it. And that's exactly the same as it has been earlier. But what we have had problems with, and there has been a lot of discussions around, is when we have the epic promotions with free upgrades. So let's look at the next example. Here we have one starter that has started and have sold free titanium packages. He has had free people that has sponsored, that has uh, chosen to buy a titanium package. Then he has a, in a, a fourth titanium, but that titanium is from buying a white, getting a free upgrade to black, buying an upgrade from black to gold to get the free upgrade to titanium. That means that the lowest value of these four packages is the one that is uh, reached by upgrades, free upgrades and upgrades. And to reach that one, you have paid 99 for the white package. You have get the free upgrade to black. You have paid 500 more to get the gold and you get the free upgrade to titanium. So you have paid 599 for that one. So then we take four times 99, four times 599, that is equal to 2,396, and takes that times 31.5%, and that ends up in 755 euros. And that is what that person will get in their fear of loss. So the fear of loss now is calculated on the fourth most valued package of the ones that has been sold during the uh, 
the first 14 days uh, since you started. So the rules are the same, 14 days since you registered, and then you have the, um, the four times the lowest of the fourth lowest uh, package. I hope it gets a little bit clearer. If you want to see more in the back office, you already have this text. If you click on rules in, in the fear of loss section, you will see all this text and the examples are there as well. So uh, that was a bit of the fear of loss. So it's made a new way to get quicker, more accurate and uh, more correct calculations. It ended up with paying a bit more, 150 euro more for four titanium and so downwards when we, we did the new system. So I hope you're glad for that. And as I said earlier, uh, the uh, there will be a fix run during today or tomorrow on all the ones who has not got the correct um, fear of loss the last weeks. So uh, just sit down and wait. We have we have that under control, and we're working very hard. And IT has worked extremely hard to solve it. Then we have a a little bit to talk about the crowd one rewards. Can I get the next slide? The crowd one rewards. We have made the first payout on crowd one rewards. And um, I must say, I'm impressed of the total sum of money that we were paying out. It was 2.2 million euros that we paid out uh, for, for crowd one rewards. I can, on the other hand, also say that I can understand that some people thought it was a pretty small sum coming. But think about, we have 6 million members. All of you have Crowd1 rewards. Some of you have more than others. Some of you have been working harder than others and earned more rewards. But if you haven't done so much and more or less just have the, the rewards from the streamline on a low level and from the package you bought, the educational package you bought in the beginning. Yes, the amount that was paid out this time was not on a very high level, but we still have no, no is the wrong word. We don't have a number of products. We have a number of products in the pipeline that will be launched that will provide money into the system. Because remember, next slide, please. Remember how the system works. The profit from the products are divided into three pools. One that is 40% to the residual, one that is 40% to the crowd one rewards, and 20% to the running cost of the company. So 80% of the money that comes in from uh, as profit from the product goes back to the network. I believe with the new products, with us, you and I and everyone else using these new products, there will be more money into the system, more money to share uh, on the next residual, on the next coming um, payout on the Crowd1 rewards. So for me, it's a lot that we need to provide you with new products, products that you can sell, products that you can talk about, refer people to, so we start getting profit into the system. That's for you in the network, it's for the company, it's for everyone in the business. And uh, next slide, please. And as you know, we have just started. We have made the two first residual income payments, May and June, and we've done the first Crowd1 rewards payment in June here as well. Now we have two months coming where it's residual income in the middle of the month, and then we come to September. And in mid-September, we have both residual and the next Crowd1 rewards. There will be new products launched the 4th of July, Let's see to that they get started, that we get business into them. 
Because when we start selling those products, referring those products, using those products, money will end up in the system, both for residual and for crowd one rewards. So I believe that we will see an increase in the payments and we will see a prospering summer and, and autumn for crowd one and for the whole network. That was all for me at the moment. I think, Jonathan, the next one is yours. Hi, yes, perfect. Thank you so much, Johan. That was, uh, I think, very clear. And uh, again, you can find more information in your back office. Uh, so, uh, Next slide. Um, I think it's important to uh, remember and for you guys to keep in mind that we are getting a lot of you know information from you from from some of the countries where there are some issues. Um, you have seen them, I think, most likely in the media or in some of the WhatsApp groups. And it is really, really, really great that you are reporting these type of issues. And when you see anything uh, that is written or published in any type of media uh, that you don't agree with, uh, I want you to contact legal at crowd1.com. So if there's anything that you would like to report that is external, which is something that people are talking about you know, in the media, slander, when people are uh, saying things that you don't think is correct, uh, please report this to legal at crowd1.com. Uh, because we are here with you. Uh, you are uh, a big part of this company. Uh, you are the people who are in the contact with uh, a lot of the affiliate members. Uh, you, are in the, the, you are in contact with a lot of the people uh, and uh, you should know that we are in contact with authorities in those countries where we have seen issues. Um, we have local teams working on this, and we have also our global uh, legal team working on this. Uh, so I know it's been frustrating. I know it's very tough to work on something when you have people who are uh, not believing you, who are mistrusting you, who don't think that you are right. But I want you guys to always keep in mind that we are in this together and we are with you and we will always stand with you. Uh, we definitely understand that you are tired of these type of rumors and I can promise you uh, that we will not accept any kind of misinformation or definitely no slander in any type of media channel. Uh, we will take actions and uh, I think we have been focusing too much on getting this new product out uh, so we have uh, missed some part of um, the reports that has been coming. Um, I think the Corona and not being as close to, to you guys uh, with our events, etc., has all, also been uh, a big factor in this. But uh, keep sending any type of information that you have and we will take actions on them. So if there's anything external, if you notice any type of external issues, uh, it could be slander, it could be uh, media that are not telling the right story about Crowd1. I want you to share this with legal at crowd1.com. If you have any type of internal issues, uh, this uh, could be if people misbehave in the network, uh, you should contact compliance at crowd1.com. Uh, we are going to take actions to all these type of things. Uh, we are definitely going to step up in terms of our legal and also our media uh, actions in, in the future. Uh, so we are here with you. Uh, very important to remember. Uh, next slide, please. And a majority of uh, these type of, I think, articles or uh, radio shows reporting or authorities not uh, totally uh, fully understand what we are doing. I think this slide is very important to keep in mind. We are going to share, uh, as you will see, uh, some quite easy slides to you know keep as a handbook about 
what we are and what we're what we're not. Uh, this is something that you guys should be you should feel comfortable at looking at these type of things in order to know you know what 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 are we doing what are quad one and uh if we're looking at this one in more detail and we will look at the other ones more in an overall uh view to get an idea about the presentation material that we want you guys to have uh we will upload uh these coming slides uh, in your back office to be able to have some type of guidelines about what we're doing and what we're not doing. So we are selling educational packages. We are a social community platform, a social networking, connecting people to selected merchants across the world. And we are using BTC and ETH as an alternative payment methods. We are sharing our rewards with our affiliate partners. This is what Quad1 is standing for. We are not selling any types of shares. We are not a gambling, not an investment company. We are not any type of cryptocurrency or Forex company. We are not offering any types of investments. We are not developing our games. We are working with third party uh, companies for each of these types of products we are not into any type of investments this is extremely important and this is the same type of issues that we see are circulating all around in all the authorities they are not fully understand what we're doing and i think this will be much clearer on the fourth when we will launch our product uh, or our next big product uh, so the coming slides, I think we have six slides. Uh, we will just basically scroll through this one for you to have an idea about what we are going to upload in your back office. So each of these next coming slides, uh, we can actually just pass through them slowly. And uh, this is just some type of guideline. If you have any question that, that's related to uh, these type of questions, uh, you should be able to get some type of feedback what uh, you can how you can react to these type of questions and how this can be a good guideline for you. Uh, is there anything you want to add around this, Joanne? Just to, to say that it's extremely important that to remember that we are all into this together and we're working day and night, all of us, to get this to be the best place to be in the best company. Uh, and if we keep on the green side here, we will say the right things. We will be the right things. We will do the right things. And then all the, the issues that we have with uh, in Namibia, that we have had in Philippines, etc., will go away because all of them are because the governments, the authorities, get an idea that we are a financial product, that we are selling financial instruments, and we are not doing that. And that's also why we don't need to register for financial products, because we don't have any financial products. We have educational packages, we have the magazine, we have other products coming, was launched at the 4th of July, that is going to be the carrier or are the carrier of this business. The business where we all should be able to earn money when we work. And I think that is the most important part is that remember that the management team, together with all the people inside the company, together with you in the different countries, are in this together and working not maybe day and night, but very close to it. And I can tell you, Jonathan is one of the most hardworking guys I have met in my life. I think uh, we, we are all uh, definitely doing this together. And uh, I think it's nice to see that we are, we are definitely getting to see some progress in some of the countries. Uh, we have noticed some you know, higher tensions in some other ones. Um, and we have seen I have seen tons of questions. Why are you not registered with the authorities for selling any you know, financial products? And the simplest 
answer we can give is since we are not selling any type of financial products. Uh, but I think it's uh, it's great to see that we are definitely stepping up on our media communication and we will not tolerate any type of slander or misbehavior, uh, not in the network and not in the media. Um, but I want you guys to know that, you know, we are doing this together, as Joel mentioned, and uh, uh, I want you to make sure that you are uh, joining us on the 4th of July. Um, this is going to be such an amazing uh, event. Uh, you don't want to miss out when we are presenting our next, next product. Uh, you don't want to miss out on the uh, entertainment. And this is going to be such a great event. So make sure that you get your tickets in your back office. You, you will buy for yourself for sure. You will make sure that your downlines, they have tickets and you make sure that you get your prospects uh, on this event as well. Uh, I think that's all for us. Thank you and keep up the good work, everyone. Thank you very much.